Hi everybody, today is the day that we are going to flip through these two journals and they will be in the shop when you see the video. So we're going to take a look. Um, first of all, I want to show you what will be with the kits. There's a lot of ephemera, vintage and not vintage, in each journal, but I also am including a packet of pieces. We have um, a vintage can label for corn. We have the some of the cutoff pieces from the pages, a scrapbook paper and a little bit of wallpaper, and a few book pages from the vintage kids' school books. And then we have this packet that contains a bunch of things, a little doily, some playing cards, a couple of soda labels, a library card, there's another, uh, there's a syrup label and a packet for beet seeds and a pineapple. I, it's in a different language, but I'm assuming it's pineapple juice or pineapples. Some die cuts and a stamped image here. These will vary in the packs. Um, some tickets. Oh wait, let me show you the coasters. There's a coaster and a card. Now the tickets will be the same in both packs. I'm giving you an assortment of colors and these tickets will be coming to my shop soon. I'm working on getting packs together. So there's quite a variety of colors there and some of those. Some green stamps, um, a digital tag and a stamped tag, some tiny tags, and these little merchandise and sale tags. Um, a box of donuts, <laughs> some lottery tickets, a stamped heart. This is stamped on vintage paper, so it bled into the paper. So that's why it looks like that, but it, it makes it look vintage. And there's a game card, a children's book illustration, a vintage photo, and a Tim Holtz paper doll. I'm not gonna go through the second one, but it has the same or similar items. This book is called Using Good English, and it's um, not quite six and a half by nine inches, and it has a two inch spine. I love the colors on this and the retro images, and I used blue and yellow fabric to go with the colors here. Some vintage blue rickrack. That's what the back looks like. And I added some blue and yellow and white beads. Really fun ones. Um, I didn't count the pages. I'll have to include that in the listing. I have my Avon paper clips here, the plastic ones. I was going to put one on a page and I didn't. So if I don't do it as I flip through, I'll just put one in your pack. I uh, lined it with um, scrapbook paper because it was just plain white. And I added this vintage um, Peanuts library. <coughs> I'm sorry, book plate. It says from the library of. And uh, Linus is trying to make a selection of books there, it looks like. So we did these um, start to finish. In, um, there's a whole series. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking as I flip through. This goes with this illustration, this text. So this book wasn't done on the video. The other book was done on the video, but this has the same sorts of elements in it. This is from a vintage 1960s pattern counter catalog. And this is a vintage linen scrap, Had a little bit of embroidery there. A uh, music flashcard, a little pickle bag you can store some things in, and this digital from 
uh, KB and Friends. Guest check book. This pay paper here um, is from a nursing service that would go to homes. And so she had this chart to keep her um, notes on patients, which is pretty interesting. And it's from 1947. And it flipped, so this side is upside down. This is a vintage billhead. This is wallpaper. I made a pocket out of it and put a journaling card in there. And it's on a piece of um, a children's workbook that was already done. It's all filled out in pencil. I just put this memo paper on it. This is um, an airmail stamp that was stamped on vintage paper. And this I cut out and embossed. There's a stamp. This is from a vintage magazine. And this was a little master board scrap. This is a vintage um, florist hang tag. And I just cut this out of scrapbook paper with my um, tag die, tag punch, I mean. That's a little um, scrap that I, or it's a stamp that I did on some colored paper, dyed paper. It's a little fabric cluster there. Index card and a vintage mallow cup coin piece. You would collect 500 points and send it in to get free candy. You get 10 candy bars for 500 points. We did this on a video. And that's from a children's book. This is a digital. We did this on a video. And this is a vintage receipt, a check receipt. Rent receipt, it says. A vintage postcard, a little girl and her dog. It is written on, but it wasn't mailed. And this little girl was off of the front of a pattern. And so she's a little journaling card. This is a piece that I stamped. Some play money, some price stickers that you can use in the book, a coaster, and a really old photograph with the original photo corners. Another stamped piece that I just cut out and glued. This is a Travel Monopoly card and some money pieces just for an embellishment. These, Both of these are from Vintage Magazines. I added this stamped piece to it. This is a journaling card. From an Alice and Jerry book and a piece of scrapbook paper that you can journal on. I sprayed some dye through a stencil for that. A vintage gift tag. Another page from the pattern book. This one might be from the 70s. I made paper clips. I did this on a video too. I think it was the one about adding the ephemera. So this is from a vintage magazine and I made a paper clip out of it with cardstock. And I clipped on a vintage evaporated milk label and a digital waffle box, frozen waffles. I'll put it on first. Sorry about that. And on this side, this is also cut from a vintage magazine for Bond bread and some shopper's tickets, uh, stamps. This is from an art book, our instruction book. And I just added this scrap of fabric. And I made a pocket here with some cardstock and a children's book illustration. And I added this really nice paper that I got in uh, well, uh, Williamsburg, West Williamsburg, Virginia. 
sorry, Williamsburg, Virginia, and this was uh, from a printing press where you could go and watch him do the process, and I bought that, a pack, <clears throat> a pack of paper there. This is a tag, and I think I need to add some seam binding to that, but this is wallpaper backing, and I just added a ticket and some children and this little vintage sticker there, and another KB and Friends food product. This is from a teacher's planner book, wallpaper, and it's textured. I love this. This is an ad, looks like a comic book, but it's for uh, Canada Dry Ginger Ale. And then I had this from a very old magazine for a Radiotron bulb, RCA. Really cool, makes a fun tag. This is a vintage map from an atlas and some receipt paper. Uh, I guess it's while you were out message paper. We have some pages from a, an S&H green stamp book with some stamps pasted in and this cute little kitty playing card. Just some small pages there. I did the light bulb stamps here and a children's book page. It has a stain on it. I'm going to glue this shut. So I don't forget to do it. I didn't put anything in the pocket. I was thinking of putting some of these things in, but I'm leaving that pocket for you to fill. You can put these things in it if you want to, to have them handy, but I think there are too many of them. Made a pocket with some cro uh, cotton trim here, and I added a little girl from a book. That's from the Alice and Jerry books. And that's from a little Mother Goose book. There is a vintage photo here of a young lady standing by a tree and a vintage gift tag again. This is from a vintage um, Goldilocks book. So that's Goldilocks. And then this is from a vintage Ward's catalog with some chenille bedspreads. A vintage magazine, we found a uh, Peter Pan peanut butter. So I thought this would go good with the milk bottle cap because you can, the child can have a peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk, or you can. This is from uh, the Nabisco Toy Town Carnival pieces. And that's a, just a fabric pocket. This is a fabric tag and a flashcard. This is a more modern flashcard. This is um, resume paper. I just stapled one of those letter stencils there. We have one of the embellished index cards that I did in the uh, Ready, Set, Stash series. And here is a card from the National Dairy Council. It has nutrition information for beef and vegetable stew from the 1960s. Um, this is a um, KB and Friends card, digital card, and this came from a vintage magazine for Miracle Whip. And the last signature has this die cut pocket with three pockets that hold small items. So this is a stamp, a star that I stamped, and then we have some of the digital food pieces from KB and Friends. They came in, it was either two or three sizes. So I put the smaller sizes in here. Also, oops, some of these go down here. Also, um, some pieces for writing. You can write on the backs of these too. And little miniature tags down here. A lot of fun things. And this, the pocket itself has the vintage s &H green stamps on it. This is an older Atlas page. This says plans for the week. 
I think this is a good place to add our Avon clip. So you can clip something there. This is a songbook in French. And another item from the Wards catalog, and this is linoleum. This was a card I had stamped with a background stamp, so I just cut it a little bit smaller and rounded the corners, added this stamped piece and this image from an Eloise Wilkin book. So cute. This is wallpaper. It's like a vinyl bendable wallpaper, textured. Um, I'm not sure. This Oh, this is from a Boy Scout book. Yeah. So it ha has a chart to fill in that was not filled in. I folded it up and I didn't close it. You could put some glue there if you want or put some washi tape around it if you want to hold it closed. I just put a paper clip on it. There's another background stamped card. And this is from a vintage magazine. And this is from a children's book. Another Eloise Wilkin image. I didn't put her all the way down into the pocket so that she can peek out. This has a die cut, a couple of die cuts and a stamped piece added to it. On this page, if you take the paper clip off, you can open this out and it has things for writing on. You can tuck little things into that pocket and some more things to write on. This is a die cut that I have. And you can write there. And there's a tag tucked in there. I need to add something to the top of that, too. I thought I was all done with this. I just have to do two tag toppers. An old calendar. Well, it's not that old. 1993. But this is old. This label that I added to it. I did some stamping. This is vintage gift wrap for the background and for this image. Some vintage baby rickrack here. Oh, this goes in the other book. Um, a card that I made with children's book page and another flash card. Here's the other side of that Boy Scout book, and it has some vintage pieces in it. This is a um, playground card, and it has instructions for the teacher to explain how to play this game called Overtake. A music flashcard and a romper room flashcard. So this is either from the 50s or 60s. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. This is a digital pocket that I had left over from something else. I just tucked a little tag in there. We have an array of Monopoly Junior money here in five different colors, and you can take them off, use them where you'd like to in the book, and it has this really fun copper paper clip. It's a little piece of a vintage doily there. This was made with a uh, vintage can label. We did these on a video also in uh, Ready, Set, Stash. And this is uh, the cutoff piece from this can. It's now a journaling card. And this is a library pocket. I added a KB and Friends cereal box to it and put a journaling uh, library card in there. All right, so this one is Using Good English, and it is in my shop when this video goes up. Let's quickly look at this one. So this is the one you saw me working on throughout all of the videos. I love this one. And I used a mint green fabric and trim. And I used black, pink, and mint green beads on the spine. And this has a little bunny because he's pink. Here's your packet of goodies. This came, I made a copy of this, but it was originally in the front of a school book. This book is the property of state, province, county, parish, school district, other.
This is a science book, so I did use a few of the Tim Holtz laboratory stamps. I love this photo of a lady admiring her um, container garden. This is wallpaper. This has a background stamped image, and this is from a very old children's book. It was a poem about the grandfather, not the grandfather clock, but a clock. There is a poem about the grandfather clock, but that wasn't that. A little scrap again of a master board became a pocket, and this boy was from that same magazine article that the girl you saw in the other book was. So there's a florist hang tag there and a digital tag, a playing card, game card, and this stamped piece. Just using eclectic things throughout these journals. This is something that I stamped and then added to other papers there. These are Corinne Malvern illustrations from a golden book, I believe, nursery songs or something like that. Love that stamp. Okay, here we have another teaching uh, playground card. This was Drop the Handkerchief instructions and the pickle bag and a Crispio's digital from KB and Friends. This calendar was 1971, so this one's a little older. This has some vintage pieces here in the cluster. More chenille bedspreads. A flashcard, a music flashcard, and a romper room flashcard. It's just a thing to write on here. Must do, might do, remind me later. There's a little digital. This is Statement of Account, and I think it's from a drugstore. 1908 and a vintage postcard unused great condition I stamped this on a file folder this has a piece of foreign currency in it and a advertising card from the 1880s there's the monopoly pieces this one has an altered index card and one of those mallow cup coin things and a butterscotch pudding um, from the National Dairy Council. This is just um, scrapbook paper you can write on. I put this card on. I don't even know where I got these, but I, I used several of them in each journal. They're digitals, and I don't remember where I got them, but I've had them printed and cut out in my stash for quite a while. But this one says, J is for joy. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. And he is, they're running to meet each other. He's got two lollipops and two balloons, and I think he's meaning to share. And it, they both look joyful. This is from a 1945 um, package for Marie Joyce. Oh, this was from Daddy for birthday. It says, sweet, sweet pea in pink and white for my baby, Daddy. Oh, that's so cute. But it came out of a scrapbook. Obviously, I hadn't read it before. I made a paper clip out of this box of cheer detergent, and it's got a rent receipt, and this is a digital. Well, we're going to have that trouble again, trying to get everything together. And here we have, from a vintage magazine, some cream for your coffee. 
some more stamps. Another art instruction page. This pocket was already made in my stash. I talked about it in a, another video. But this die comes with these cards and the embellishments on the cards. Wallpaper. This is from a vintage magazine. And this is um, vintage gift wrap here. I knew there was some gift wrap there. Some more while you were out. Um, papers. <laughs> Atlas page. A playing card. And then this one has... I just added some random vintage things to the books. And this one has s &H green stamp card that was used at a Quality Inn but they only use, they only got one sticker for it. This one is a pocket that I already glued and I didn't put anything in it. Um, a vintage tab. I don't think I put them in, in the other book too, so I'll have to do a couple of those vintage tabs, or at least one. I think there's two in this one. A vintage photo again, and a vintage gift tag. A pocket made with crocheted lace on a scrapbook paper. This was in my stash of items that I had already made. Um, this is gift wallpaper, um, Fancy paper, I think it's like handmade paper with some stitching on it. More handmade paper and a wallpaper piece. And this is coming off, so I'm going to apply some more glue. I don't know why it was coming off. I'm going to put a paper clip on it. Oh, I don't see my paper clips. They have a place they're supposed to live and they're not there. Oh well, maybe it's dried dried enough by now. I'll put one of these on. If I forget to take it off, there's a freebie for you. Here we have some chicken noodle soup to go with the milk. And this is a card. For Golden Book Illustrated Dictionary, that this card was in the Golden Magazine that I just got. Fabric tag and a flashcard. Fabric pocket. This is from the pattern book. It's a pattern for um, puppets and some, some stuffed toys. A math flashcard. This is roast beef on the uh, National Dairy Council card and a digital for a cake mix set. Again, the um, pocket with lots of little pockets. And this has a little vintage um, price tag on it. It has holes where it was pinned to a piece of fabric from Philadelphia Sales. We used to have a Philadelphia Sales in Waverly. New York. It's just across the border from me. This is from a vintage apron. This is from that 1970s pattern book. Yeah, here's another tag, uh, tab that are their vintage fabric tag. Tabs. I can't say it right. I keep saying the wrong word. This is from a vintage magazine. No, it was a calendar and it has a contest, a jingle contest. This is from a vintage magazine. I think I colored it with something. <laughs> I don't remember what. And a tag. This tag was made with a master board and I added embellishments to it. A 
again, um, another digital pocket. I had three of those, three pockets left over from that digital kit, so each journal got one. A vintage Hydrox ad, a vintage children's book illustration, flashcard, and this random vintage piece is the Junior Epworth League, and it says prayer meeting topics for July through December, 1897. This is a little pocket here. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I thought I made it a tuck spot. There's the Monopoly Junior Money. And in this pocket, which was also made with a master board, we have um, part of a peas can label, a tag, Campbell's uh, tomato soup, and this image from a science book. It wasn't from this science book. Um, this may have been, I don't remember, I don't know where this page came from, but it's a technical drawing type of thing. And I added some washi tape. Oh, and this has to go in here somewhere, doesn't it? I wonder if it'll fit in that pocket in the middle. The, uh, the envelope, I mean. So, so... Well, let me see. It'll go in there. Hopefully that's going to stay glued down. Feels like it is. Okay, so I can quickly go through mine. I was going to do it in a separate video. Where are we time-wise? Yeah, I can just quickly go through mine. I love the stripes on the back. This is from the um, Williamsburg paper. These pages that I used on the uh, end papers are from this book. This is wallpaper. This is wallpaper. This is something that was in my stash that I made with leftover scrapbook paper and a photo and a piece of ephemera. This was also in my stash, this little map piece with some embellishments on it. This is wallpaper pieces that were, it was a very thin, like a tissue paper, and I managed to get it out of the scrapbook, not perf not in perfect condition, but I glued it down there because it's so cute. My card isn't a playground card, it's a mandarin orange salad and cranberry apple salad. I like the card that it's on, the type that was used. And this calendar page is 1983. So we had two di uh, three different decades of Courier and Ives calendar pages in these books. I think this one is a pocket, yeah. I didn't put anything in it. Oh, I think this is a playground card. Cross tag, a music flash card. This was, I didn't, it was hanging out after I sewed my signatures in and I couldn't figure out where it was supposed to go. So I stuck it in here and a romper room card with apples on it. These came from awards catalog and this is from an old magazine. There's my postcard. This one was used and sent but I don't see the date, but they're from the early 1900s. 
I stamped that on its file folder. This was the packaging for some pink hat bangles that I purchased at a flea, uh, yard sale, I think. It's from a can of green beans. And that's from a vintage magazine. I'm going to have to cut this off. He has a stick that he's holding, um, but it got bent, and then the magazine part came off of it, so I'm going to just cut that off. This is just a scrap of some fabrics that I sewed together. It's a leftover piece. Here's the other part of that green bean can label. This was stamped on file folder, and then this is from a craft book. So I just glued that on. Looks like I colored it with something, and that's a stamp. This was supposed to be the first signature. I got my signatures mixed up, and it doesn't matter at all. It's a vintage gift tag. My paper clip is a stack of blankets. I wish they made blankets like that still. Frozen foods, mixed vegetables. That's a digital. This pocket was in my stash. It's got a couple things on the top of it. Wallpaper. This is from an ad for riding the bus in the 1940s. Actually 1941 it says and this was part of it unless it was up here. I don't know. I think it was down here because that's the bottom. I just cut it made a journal card out of that and this is a tag that I'd made a while ago with my large um, vintage magazine illustrations. This has a page from a, tip, a top value stamp book. And that's a playing card with the Morton Salt Girl. This was in a magazine or a catalog or something, but it's a shoe ad. It says 1980 on it. I'll have to glue that shot too. Vintage photo of some gentlemen standing outside. It's an old car there. Looks like it's from the 50s. It's a strip of wallpaper. I was covering up the stitches. I had to sew some papers together to make the pages wide enough for this journal. I have my initial there, but I don't know who the other books are going to, so I just put random letters on. Flash card. This was a card in my stash that I had made. This is actually a page from a green stamp book.
So there we go. These were really fun to make. I hope you enjoyed this start to finish series. These two journals, this one is Simple Machines and this one is Using Good English. These are in my shop when you see this video. So I hope that if you've been wanting one of these as you watch me make them, I hope that you are able to get there and get it. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a creative day today. Bye.